Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. My name is Pam, and today we are going thrifting at the Highlands Center Goodwill, located in Columbia, South Carolina. I visited the store twice in order to make this video, and sometimes Goodwill is hot, they have a lot of great things, and sometimes it's not. You leave empty-handed. I would love to have you always shop along with me, so if you enjoy shop along videos, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. We're going to have lots of fun, so grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go thrifting. Did you notice the restaurant wear at the beginning of the video? It was called Ridgeway Steel Light, and it was so cute. I found a few more platters, not sure of the maker, but I love finding restaurant wear. Oh, and I looked everywhere for Mickey's pepper shaker, but I couldn't find it. Now this is Chewbacca. You know, my husband's a big Star Wars memorabilia collector, and I had to give him a quick call to see if he wanted this mug. Turns out he already had it. This wooden spoon holder has been known to display more than spoons. Many people use them to display their vintage handkerchief collections. This Snuggle Pets hoodie is still in package and $6.99 is not a bad price as I checked them out on Amazon and they're retailing for $21. Look at this sweetest little bear. It's called Bear Forces of America, and typically these are found on the post in the PX. They're so cute, especially for your little ones. Let's get physical, physical. Do you remember that song by Olivia Newton-John? I don't know why it just came to my mind, but you've got some great little workout gear here. And I don't know about you, but I'm always on the lookout for a nice, sturdy basket. Check this one out. This basket would be well over $5 if I bought it at Target or Walmart. Crazy Cat Lady mug is cute, but it's not big enough for my cereal, so I had to leave it behind. I think this was some type of a hat box and it had tape wrapped around it but I will say that I've seen recently Goodwills in my area are using less tape and are using some type of cling wrap that they wrap around the item they wrap it several times and it holds pieces together if you will remember a couple videos back you saw those pieces and they're broken but take a look at this beautiful I'm thinking this might be a cake plate or maybe just a serving dish. It was so pretty, but you know, clear glass just doesn't sell. I found a few Corel coffee cups in the Indian summer pattern. Did you know that an Indian summer is an unseasonably warm patch of weather that happens in the autumn after the first frost? I feel like in South Carolina, we have a continual Indian summer all throughout winter. <laughs> this apple canister was really cute. There's going to be another one that you're gonna see here on the right. Do you remember back in the day when decorating your kitchen in apples was a really big thing? 
I had one of these yellow Tupperware strainers when I first moved out into my own apartment. Those hold up really well. If you still have one of those strainers, let me know down below in the comment section. This reminds me of the brass and black etched vases, but this is not brass, it is glass. It looks like someone painted that on there. They did a really good job too. I saw these three mini cast iron Dutch ovens and y'all, they were so heavy. They were $39.99. What do you think about that price? Do you think it's too much for these three? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now we're heading into the second trip to Highlands Goodwill and we're starting off strong with this beautiful swan mug. Next, I came upon these two types of crocs or bean pots. They look like they could be false graph, but they are not false graph. And I'm going through a little phase where I love cherubs these days. This was actually a paper mache piece. And these pots, they're made by Guardian Service and a lady in the store was telling me how her grandmother had one of these pots always on top of the stove filled with grits. That was a core memory for her and seeing these pots just really brought it back to her and I loved hearing that story. We've got a few Christmas items here. These paper mache type reindeer. They've got a little bit of decor around their necks. I left those behind and decided to take a look at these deer. These were made out of maybe resin. Let's take a look and see what this is supposed to be. I'm thinking maybe a platter of some sort. I love this terracotta owl. This would be a great tea light on your front porch during the fall season. It's really nice. Oh, there's a Stanley dupe. And you see the shelves are pretty packed today, but they're not packed like they were at that St. Andrews Goodwill. If you haven't checked that video out, I will link it up top for you. I found the Pioneer Woman. Check out this utensil canister. I love the red with the polka dots. This is going for $14.99 on Amazon, so $2.99 is a great price for a pickup. The dishes section in this particular Goodwill is always nice and neat, and I am quite thankful for that. Look at this beautiful peacock wall hanging. It was huge. I loved all the bling bling on its tail feathers, and I believe they were all there. This was a great piece. It wasn't mangled. It must have just been placed on the shelf. I noticed this glass juicer and it reminded me of the one that was uranium I found a few videos back. I'm still heartbroken over that one. I also saw this nice looking trunk. It looks like it's something that you would find at a Kirkland's. It was in great condition and it had a nice pattern on the front. 
I found more of these type of canisters. This one had a canister on the inside. And remember I talked about how I use these around the house for my laundry pods. This was an interesting little situation here. It looks as if the Goodwill employees made a basket of some sorts with all of the different Carolina merchandise that they had in the store and put one price on top. They had the big finger there, they had novelty drinkware, and I did see a purse inside the basket. I saw this jar on the rack that sits on top of the clothes. It was so big. At $30.99, I decided to leave this one behind. I thought this picture would be really pretty with a bouquet of flowers. I thought this planter was going to be a little bit heavier than what it was. It was super lightweight and I couldn't find a price. What's this little cutie here? I love the pink fish. I was surprised to see that this little baby had both of its wings. And I did take a look at this juicer. These artificial plants are from Target. They are the Threshold brand. Originally $5 in the store. They only had them for four here at Goodwill and they were in good condition. This was a pretty soup bowl. It was so lovely. I didn't notice any chips. I also didn't see a name on the bottom. If you know anything about this dish, let me know in the comments down below. This is a cute little stein, salt, or pepper shaker. I found a box of Mikasa Votive candle holders. They were $9.99, but retail $5.99. What's up with that? Earlier in the video, I saw a Stanley dupe, but this is the original Stanley thermos. I am sure many cups of hot steaming coffee were poured out of this Stanley mug back in the day. It was in really good condition for its age. Didn't cigarette companies used to have a campaign where you sent in your empty cigarette packs and you'd receive prizes? This may have been one of those prizes, but I do remember something like that. Again, I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for Star Wars memorabilia. This was a little planetarium, and it looked like everything was in the box. Everything was not in the box. It's missing a light bulb, but it doesn't really matter. My husband loved it, and he's using it in his Darth Vader display, and I think it's perfect. I bought the restaurant ware. I couldn't help myself. I absolutely love this double-sided bowl. I have no need to keep it for myself, so I'm gonna sell it, but ooh, it's gonna be so hard. I bought the basket at $1.99, and because the basket was so sturdy, it was a no-brainer. I use these baskets to hold all of my goodies when I'm out yard sailing, but this basket just works out perfectly and I couldn't be happier. 
That's all for today. Thanks so much for shopping along with me today. If you enjoy this type of content, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment down below. Until next time, bye-bye.